Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envoy Stream here. Here we are, we're going to be doing a map tour of agricultural land. This is a map created by Designs Farming Official. It is 416.98 megabytes to download. It was available for all platforms and thankfully there is no required mods. And yeah, description goes as following. Welcome to the Terra Agricole region, welcome to the citizen. The Terra Agricole region is a well-known district of Brigus, as well as Good Good City, as well as three other independent towns. It is a region shaped by agricultural and these reliefs in large parts of breeding. In addition, with its dairy, beef, beef, pig and sheep production, it is one of the most efficient processing regions in the world. The forestry se sector has become more and more important to this sector of the region. As map contains the following 212 fields, 241 agricultural lands, 14 forestry areas. The average size of these fields are 1.25 hectares. There are 5 farms, 30 points of sale, animal grazing, 2 BGA installments, 6 pond type war points, 1 placeable area, new crop textures for wheat, oats, grapeseed, barley, and corn. Added new soil textures, ploughing, semi, lime, and others. New activation logos, bulk storage area, rugby field, carton field, and motocross field. So, this is going to be proper intense. But one thing I want to start off with is a word of warning. I'm doing this on the PlayStation 4 Pro last gen console. And when I was setting this map up, doing my little look around initially, little preliminary tests now like slot counts and all that stuff on both new farm which I'm on right now and start from scratch and farm manager every time I loaded the map for the first time I had a game crash and in fairness the map did take a while to load up and this was with no mods no mods at all I do have two mods installed on this map tour we'll look at that in a bit was for the money's sake, because we need to put some money in. But yeah, so we're warning, this may have some game crashing issues. I'm not sure what it is, like when I loaded in, it was very buggy, a bit laggy and that. Not buggy, laggy. But once you go around the map, like drive around the map or fly around the map, if you're on PC, it sort of clears itself up, so touch wood, that's all the issues, but it's just a little word warning. But anyways, on to the map tour, so let's look at the PDA. We're on new farmer mode, and yet yeah, there are a lot of fields, as I mentioned. There's corn areas, rugby fields, and that. we're going to have a look at all of those. And I need to trim this down, most likely in post. But anyways, on new farm mode, what do you start off with? Start off with your main farm at plus 8, field 116. Your house, which is plot 3, as well as a grass field on one, no, sorry, 17, and that is, what field is that, Barry, I think, by the looks of it, I'm not sure what it looks like in a bit, but also you do own a grass field down here on plot 101, or field 101, plot 144. And yeah, with the grass fields enabled, you can see all the areas of grass fields. And yeah, there are plots of it dotted all over the place. So yeah, we're here at the house. I'll open the map up and the help menu. So yeah, first of all, we'll take the pick up around in a sec. Your house is similar to the one on Obey Rune. And yeah, two have some nice apartment complexes right next to it. Nice bit of roadworks. And as you can probably tell, this is a, a French map or a map in the French region. So here we go. First of all, we do have some equipment. Actually, got a lot of equipment. And yeah, this is a animal pasture. So if I purchase this sand, plot two. Yeah, this is your cow pasture. 
as we head over to the farm, we'll start looking at slot counts and what equipment you start off with. So there we go, entering the farm through this way. You do have a lot of stuff and, but yeah, you got these like new nice little triggers. So that's going to be your dollar box. That's going to be your output. I guess it was an output for milk. Yeah, your output for milk by the looks of it. Also, you got your like, your your heap over there. Open this up. See, so got your feed inputs there. Got your story output there. And go to drone mode. This is your map. So, got a bunker silo, a shed, store your equipment, a basic cow pasture. I do have some more shed storage as well as a silo and more sheds. But yeah, slot count, so on new farm mode, slot count is 1,597. And this contains all your starting equipment, which have the look in a sec. In start from scratch, slot count was, funny enough, exactly the same. But if you remove all the equipment, you get it down to 1,439 slots. Because, yeah, as we go around, there is a lot of equipment dotted all over the place. There's wheel loaders and that, there's telehanders, we'll have a look at all of those. But, yeah, so on new farmer mode and start from scratch, technically, you start off with the following Massey Ferguson 3709 Alpine, the new Holland T6125. On the medium tractor, it's got the Massey Ferguson 3670, John Deere 7810, the Rush Smash Nova 330 Combine Harvester, the Schaff, was it Schaffer 2630, and one of the mods that is one of the additional stuff you get out of this map is the Lizard Pickup 2017, and it's got a agricultural logo. Trailer's got the Rudolph TDK 301RA. Got a 5 meter header for the Rush Smash. Power Hallows got the Kuhn HR 4040. And for the Cedars itself, we've got the Kuhn Venta 4030. For Mowers, we've got the Kuhn GMD 4411. Tethers, we've got the Kuhn GF 8712. Wind Rovers, we've got the Kuhn GA 4731. And Baders, we've got the Kuhn. VB3190. And for bell loaders, got your typical Farmtech DPW1800. For your straw blower, we've got the Kuhn RA142. Correction, that's a mixed wagon. And for your liquid transporter, for your water tank, we've got the Joskins Aquatrans 7300S. And then you've got a quickie front loader. Do you have a variety of implements, including fork gravel, pallet fork, bucket, and a big bag lifter? Got a header trailer for the combine, and also you got a John Deere 900 and kilogram weight. So, yeah, you do start off with a fair bit. But as you go around the map, you haven't noticed we got like, you yeah, got a lot of stuff here, so got your wheel loaders and that. And these cannot be removed. And yeah, as part of your mods, so go under agricultural land. And yeah, I'll be trying to figure out what are some of these because yeah, these are added of course by the map maker. As far as I could tell, there's no yeah, there's no unique options. Yeah, high done bucking that. These are all base game stuff we've got. Your first pickup I can get. Because obviously you got the Convy Agricole. So you're basically your Convy truck. And funny enough, you got a rugby field referee. Basically, yeah, what's this? A little bob, bobcat in the way. Oh no, it's like the new Holland one, ain't it? Bit of a unique paint job. So yeah, if we go into our vehicles and that, we'll go under skid steers. So yeah, oh yeah, it's exactly similar to 
this one here to do Holland 318. Just a bit of a reskin in that, but you know what? That I don't mind. So okay, that is the main farm. And if you go under build mode, there are several unique placeables. So under sheds, you do have a variety of sheds. So perhaps let's go to a field and have a little look. So yeah, got some unique different sheds and that. And again, I think a lot of these are similar to base game. Yeah, by the way, looks of it. I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure why. This is what's confusing me. As far as I'm aware, yeah, these are all very similar, if not exactly the same as base game stuff. Okay, not all of it, I'll admit. Because I've already got the garage for contractors, but yeah, shed with the roof, 480. Yep, shed with the roof, again, 480 per month. Under silos, you do have the Pharma 500 plus OB 1000. And your bug silo, you got a 12 meter by 20 meter. And you got your 4000 in your heap. And again, sim to base game pretty much. Yeah, 12 by 28. 12 by 28, so yeah. Not sure of that. Under site extensions, we've got nothing. Under containers, we've got a large petrol tank, so again, similar to base game. Under tools, there is nothing. Under farmhouse, you do have your farmhouse, which of course is a base game. Yeah, similar to base game, because I have a look. Yep, farm garage, farm garage over there. Under productions, there are. Okay, with productions, I can sort of get, because obviously you've got the custom. Yeah, got your custom triggers here. And then you got your base game stuff. So, with with the productions, I get why these are separate. Costs are the same. We'll have a look at the production rates, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be exactly the same. And yeah, same again with the rock crusher. So you know, there is no unique, nothing unique about that. There's nothing under greenhouses and all that. Next, we go to your animals. So, got your custom cow barn with the tr custom triggers. But also, go under horses and... This is where it gets interesting, because... Again, I'm trying to find a way to place this down. But yeah, you got your a variety of horse pastures. So you got a, a long L-shaped section there. And you got your sort of open obstacle course over there. And you got your horse barns with your custom triggers. Under pigs, we do have a pig pasture. Very huge pasture over there. And again, also got your pig site at large. And I'm guessing as we go around, we'll find out these are part of the other farms. I'm pretty sure of that. Under sheep, we got your variety of sheep pastures and that. Again, I think these are all customed to blend in with the map. Under chickens, there's no custom chicken pens, no bees, and nothing else. And yet, there is nothing under decorations, no custom paint textures and that. So yeah, with that all out of the way, let's get on with the map tour. So right, after purchasing all the farms and all the other areas, let's go down here, and this is going to be your main town area. So yeah, obviously you've got your like, residential complex areas, and also you've got your big massive production building areas over here, so... Wait a minute. Oh yeah, of course it's France, because you got your French trebuchets. So yes, pull over first of all. So in this area, you'll find your lime factory, your debris crusher, got your dairy production, got your vehicle workshop, 
got your central agricultural cooperative, your wool processing plant, fire station, gas station, all your cart track, cereal factory, town store, and your fish shell fish sell from the fishing village and also the cow pasture as well I also found and also you got your sheep pasture here as well because yeah I'm guessing this is where like the unique animal pens come in like yeah you got this like weird like L like shaped fields that's go where you're gonna find all the placements in terms with the animal the animal pens but yeah, overall, my first impressions with this map is absolute bonkers. It's like high level of detailing. I'm trying to figure out how to get over there to the deep ship area. I guess we've got to go left here. Advertising for horse activation. Nope, not over there figure out how to get to oh yeah it was just gonna be like left down here right yeah if you can see left down here where you get to your store so to the entrance to the main store and this is gonna be where your reset point and people spawn point is gonna be so yeah just head down here so yeah got your shop icon there Got your workshop as well over there. Oh yeah, this is where your vehicles will spawn. Yeah, we do have a little buggy cart, because I'll take the buggy now. Around some of these cart tracks, but we'll do that towards the end. Because yeah, we've got a lot to cover and if there's gonna be jump cuts, I do apologize, but I'm still going to cover every little detail on this map as much as I can. So yeah, we're headed up north and we're just going to do a little bit of a clock, anti-clockwise loop around. So yeah, let's go and head over here. So yeah, that's your main town area. Next we're just going to head up to like your sawmill areas and that, and your farm shop. Because yeah, like... This map is absolutely stunning and beautiful. It's like well detailed. And yeah, obviously the game crashes and that I had to watch for loading. Hopefully that's like a little like shape or shade or cache or whatever it is issue. Or where like when you get a map update sometimes it's a bit laggy and that to be for loading. But after you drive around in that it works out right. So yeah, that's your sawmill over there. And then next is head around by the coast we are. But yeah, I do love these like quaint I won't say quainty, but nice little French maps now like tell behind just like the background now, like we're in the French Alps. Those were in the Highlands of France. So, yeah, I think, yeah, we, when you're farming this area, definitely needs a tractor with a bit of horsepower in that. And, yeah, I forgot to say there are 23 collectibles on this map. And, yeah, they are the game carriages. So yes, yeah, let's go ahead up here. And this is gonna be your wool factory by the looks of it. So yeah, we just head up here and that. So yeah, your spinner in that. And also you got your community garden cell point. By the looks of it. Is it a cell point or what? So you got a little community garden area here, fair enough. Got a well in that. A little river in that. But yeah, is there an actual cell point here or what? 
So you're going to have a look. Got a variety of cell points. And yeah, also you got things like the <coughs> dumping area, which I find quite unique and interesting. So you've got your spinner in that. Oh yeah, I guess in just the community garden, it's not a cell point or anything, it's just a highlighted area, because I think I've, yeah, I've noticed all the key points on this map are like attractions, like the carton areas. Has all got that explanation mark where you'll typically see this with contracts now, so that is quite confusing. But ain't you back on track? And yeah, like obviously with all the recent issues I had with Evergreen Valley, I am tempted to do a play on this map, like do a little Let's Play series on this French French map here, but. Yeah, I'm not sure now. Nah. Actually, let's head down here. One little two CV, off you go. Because yeah, the Aussie's map is filled with a bunch of roundabouts now. Nah. See, so, yeah, actually, what we can do is loop down here, and then we go right, and then we head back up to. Feels far five to six in that area, so overall's actually not too bad. And this is gonna be one of your farm areas. So yeah, we we'll head up here. So you purchase this area, so typically again got your silo, it's not my fruit silo, got all your sheds now, got your storage areas. And this is going to be your pigsty area. So yeah, once again, right here. Things like the side of that, I get. The animal place walls and that, I get. But why the sheds and that, in terms of it being a unique thing, I'm not too sure on that. But anyways, so back on the roads. Next we're going to head down. Let's pull over here. So what's this area over here? Ah, this is going to be your rugby stadium. Actually, you know what? Let's pull in here because I think there's going to be a little gem over here I've noticed. Nah. Wait a minute, what's that? French writing and that, and... That is, that says, I'm not, not going to pronounce it now because I'm not going to burst the French. But basically it says, support for French firefighters. Hashtag, stop attacks against firefighters. Interesting. And yeah, punch more French writing. And yeah, the little sign here, I thought... Have a look at it, do a bit of Google Translation, and it says Enter at your own risk. Here we have bell towers that rings regularly. Roosters crow in very early. Herds that live nearby, some even have bells around their necks. Farmers who work to give you food. If you can't stand, then you're not in the right place. Otherwise, we have good local products from talented artisans who are happy to help you discover their know-how and their production, so support your French farmers. I think with recent events and that, that, that sort of rings home a bit as well. You know, support your local farmers and that. And not just in France, but everywhere in general, so you've got your French rugby field. And one thing I noticed with this was if we go into the middle, I actually like that. Farm Simulator 22. However, on the flip side, Farming Simulator 25. <laughs> That's a little joke or what? Honestly, I don't know, but. Yep, again, this full as a little unique detail to mention and note. But, anywho, back on the road again. 
as we head down here, we've got your grey meal net production. And actually, what I'm going to do is. Oh, sorry, all your oil meal. So, quickly purchase this. And is there a, a few unique about the recipes in that? Or cycle ratios? Nope, didn't think so. All the same as the base game is just the unique triggers in that. So you got your oil mill, or your heat barn, your input purchase, and your central grain mill. So that example that central grain mill is going to be your sell point. Ooh, a little press there. You see things getting quite carried away with that. But yeah, like just look at that. Absolute beautiful. Well at least I think it's beautiful. Again, beauty lies in the beholder net. Oh, do not crash envoy, please. It's been a while since I've had a proper crash on the map tour. Actually, there seems like Mars mission, I think, but anywho. So yeah, entering Burgess City. So yeah, last mention, we're going to take a right here. Go past the BGA, move up here, and then we're going to hook up to another main farm and then we can head up north and then loop around back down south so again that's why I mentioned there may be some cuts here and there between areas but I end day the map tour is going to take as long as it takes so I think you can enter that way but yeah you can also enter from this way So you have a little look down here. So you've got sheds and that. But also you've got your one your PGA sound here. So yeah. Gonna purchase that. And again, in terms with productions, output and ratios. Far as I can tell, output is digestate. You also get Methane or methane and electricity that is automatically sold. Also, you got a couple of bunker silos and that. And yeah, also you got sheds and that, so you can store any equipment here as you wish. And yeah, also there is one of the. I'm pretty sure this is one of the. Custom, yeah, custom cost Torians and that. So wheel loaders and that. Yeah, it's part one of these. Of course, you can't sell these or anything. They're just here on the map. So again, as some of you may like that, some of you may not. I end days down to individual preferences. Yeah, as we leave the BGA, take a little route up here, and yeah, this is going to be your location of a another main farm. And actually, also I'm just going to have a little look, just in case I'm missing anything. So yeah, you do have a wind farm down here. But as far as I can gather, there's nothing here. Yeah, it says wind farm. But, yeah, I can't see any windmills or anything like that. So, yeah, all the other areas, these are just all agricultural fields, so. I'm not sure if there's meant to be like a wind turbine here. Sure, it looks like it's meant to be a wind turbine. Especially with like yeah the grass area there like something was placed there but was removed. I haven't removed anything. But yeah, if we go to our productions and generators. So yeah, it looks like there was meant to be like a wind turbine here. See so I'm thinking it's gonna be something like that. It's like something like that was meant to be here, but for some reason, 
wasn't put down in the first place by the map maker or something. Again, I'm not sure on that. That's just me assuming. Yeah, it just looks very weird. Oi. Typical French drivers, Nat. Tend towards murder you, Nat. But, anywho, I'm gonna head down to another major farming area. So, yeah, we're in France, so you go right at the roundabout. So, yeah, this is, well, actually, no, I don't think this is another farm area. I thought this was a farm area, but no. This is another town. What did it happen down there is as a town or farm that? But god, like look at all, all the NPCs in that. So actually is the car blocking them? My truck can actually block them. Alright, fair enough. Off on your way, folks. So yeah, what did I have this down there as a I don't know, but yeah, so down here we've got school heating plant. So you got your cell point there. But yeah, man, there's actually a proper actual interactive French little village. Ah, you can see it. That's going to be your wood cell point. Also, you got another horse pasture in that. For some reason, I can't select. Oh, yeah, so the Git Get Awards Agricultural School. Also, you got a sheep pasture down here. But yeah, I can't select these. Can we select them to sell at least? Ah, right, so you can sell all of the buildings. Uh, yeah, so yeah, you got your like your custom p pastures and that, but these are, in essence, just place balls and that decorative. They're not functional or anything like that. Because yeah, again, if I sell the area, nope, can't do it. So <coughs> perhaps a little thing to note. So do you have some Aussie pens and that? But of course, they are not, uh, what's the word, usable, so... But yeah, it's just like overall, like, it's rare to see a map with a bunch of, like, active pedestrians. And I know you can get some maps now, there's some pedestrian traffic. But nothing as intense as that, and again, that's perhaps why I'm having some issues with maybe the game crashes and that, at first of all, but... But yeah, like, obviously apart from the first login in that, and having the game crashes. I've not since experienced any more crashes, so... I'm guessing it's just a case of when you first loaded the map, it's like so much, so many assets in that to process, and... Poor little PlayStation 4 Pro can't handle it. Ah yeah, so yeah, we've got another barn up here. I think it's another farm as well. Ah, uh, no, yeah, just looking at my notes, yeah, this is another farm area up here. So, yeah, hen up here now. So, you've got your sheep barn over here. Got your storage areas, got your silos and that. And, yeah, we're headed back out of here. Oh, yeah, another crash there. Next, we're going to head to farm number three, and your grain mill, and animal merchant area. So yeah, it's going to be just a little trip down here. Through the tight twisty bends. Ooh, okay, went a bit too fast there. As well, I am driving with a pad as well, so fine control steering is not one of those things you Suiting with pads and that. There you go, a little French tower over there. And then, as we approach the final bend, see it here. 
got another farm area. So yeah, again the same signs as I've read before. But yeah, we're at Click City. Click, well I'm not sure I pronounce it. So yeah, you got your green mill net. So yeah, your farm is gonna be just down here. So yeah, once again, got your silos and that. We have more of a tightly packed farm. But you do have your pig pig pasture net. I'm oh, sorry, your obstacle course. What did, what does it have the pig icon here? See so yeah, it's got a horse barn and horse obstacle course. Man, I just saw that for oh, it was a pig pen, but no it ain't, so yeah, not sure on that. But anyway, it's also got your gas station down here. So yeah, that's just there to the left. So yeah, let's fill up the pickup. Three euros. Not too shabby. And then yeah, to the left here is going to be your green mill area. Okay. Bloody French drivers and that. Oh, sorry, it's the French trying to kill me today, but anywho, so. Again, like, I do love these little cities and that, like these little city areas and that. Absolute vibing. So, your animal merchants is over here, this is going to be your, your animal dealership, so. Always you've got your pig size and that, so you can select as many as you wish. But yeah, actually, for an animal merchant, quite nice, actually. Nice and detailed. Just double check, there is nothing you can enter that. But yeah, that is a huge animal merchant area. And yeah, I like the way like, how like, some of these fields like, wrap around all the buildings and that. Oh, just look at that area over there. But yeah, also, uh, what was it? Forest station, that's over here. Yeah, it was good. that's your green old area, I already said. But it's heading out of here. And yeah, obviously, part of some of the signs around is soft attack against firefighter, so. Got your firehouse over there. Bakery. Yeah, I didn't realize there was a bakery there, my bad. Your bakery and your firehouse. Is there any. No, no collectibles here in that? No fire engines either. But of course, if you do want fire engines in that, there are two fire engine mods. There's the. I think the electric one. And then lastly, there's the. Emergency pack by Creative Mesh that has a couple of firefighting options. But alright, so we've already looked up here and that. Now we're going to head down here, head across one of the forestry areas. Okay, we're going to look at another little workshop area and that, and your second BGA. And then you've got your little place with areas down here and that. Corn track, and then yep, we'll think we'll start wrapping things up as we head back to the town where we started off with, and then that's where I'll show off the carton tracks and my amazing carton skills. Also, forgot to mention there is a placeable area down here for 17 grand, so you can place, yeah, again, there's a couple of these little areas that also were in place. So yeah, you can use those areas as you wish, you can place down greenhouses and that. But again, ooh, a little bump there. I am in just absolute awe with the... Like, the surroundings of the map, the boundaries and that. And it's up here in Toad City. Oh yeah, 
for some you know, traffic lights ain't working, so fair enough. So let's pull into here. See, so you got your carpentry, air nets. Oh yeah, let's go and have a look at your workshop. So, I'm guessing the entrance is going to be somewhere over there. There we go. And got a little forge wagon in that. Don't think that's useful. I think that's just a fixed decorative item. But yeah, even though this ain't going to be a spawn point, do have. Yeah, I'm just a full have quick look up here for any collectibles and that. But yeah, if you're like got a farm down here and that. So yeah, if you've got a little farm down here and that, you can use this as a workshop and that. Even though it's not a spawn trigger and that, or a reset trigger. But yeah, let's head out of here. We're going to sort of hop across and that. So yeah, oh yeah, also that's your grass field over there. And also, this is going to be a sheep pasture area. Um, yes, yeah, so purchase. 103. So that is the methane site. And yeah, got your milkless cow pasture over here. And also got a horse pasture in that. So, again, that's what I mean by there's like tons of just like ways of how animal pastures are just being whacked down and that but in a good way when I say being whacked down I'm doing that in a good way rather than this being a blop in the landscape it's actually well implemented into the map itself and in fairness you've got to credit like map makers who do that things like unique animal placeable errors and that and have such a good damn way of integrating it all into the map itself. But yeah, anyways, let's skip over here on that. And this is going to be your second BGA area. So once again, got another class wheeled over on that. So you got your input there. And yeah, these can be purchased for 435 grand. And yeah, again, looking at, so yeah, there is a significant difference, which I did suspect it because these are like suddenly more like 50 kilowatt BGs and that. Yeah, 50 kilowatt BGs you see on Mod Hub and that. But yeah, also got a cell point there. All your outputs and that. No, sorry, inputs and that, sorry. Inputs for stories here, and your and all that stuff is here. Your digestive output is here. And once again, huge bunker silo clamp. But Inhu is hopping to the pickup. So that is the BG error covered. And actually, I think, you know what? I'm just going to have a little look up here. Sexy, if there's anything up here, because. I don't have anything down here in my notes about that area, but would be the first time I've missed something on the map tour. So yeah, just having a little hop up here. And yeah, it's nothing more than a little cathedral area, I think. Because like, again, something similar we've seen on a Beirut, and that whole Beirut, whatever it's called, the base game French map and that. Yeah, I think yeah, this is pretty much a spin image of that. Of the little hillside area. And if that's the case, there surely need to be some collectibles up here. But yeah, I know the collectibles are the game cartridges and that by assumption and that, but yeah, that is just absolute beautiful. And I think that's going to be the thumbnail for the map tour net. But yeah, I'll just have another look. No collectibles in that. Again, shame. 
but yeah, I got a little sin errors over here and that. So yeah, nothing of worthy noting. So yeah, let's head down to the dump and a corn track. Have a look at the cow pasture and that. Look at our place wall area and I think after that, that's pretty much all of it. Apart from some more pastures and that. Cow pasture down there. Yeah, and that's just your forestry and that, so yep. So you go and have a little look at all the rest we see, and then, yeah, trap out the map tour. As I did my final thoughts and conclusion, we'll have a look at the carton track. I'll say have a look, I mean, have a little drive around because as soon as I saw the carton track, I thought. Yes, I need to get a car to that I can drive around it. But yeah, first of all, yeah, this is going to be your dump area. So this is very similar to the recycling plant we've got as a mod on the mod up. So you sell your stones, you sell your carpentry and planks, or your yeah you know, cardboard and that planks. Got your wool, fabric, garment, and variety of our furs to dump. Got your wood chip. Got food. Got your bulk cropping that. Got, what was it, your bulk merchandise. Got your trees and bells. And yeah, as I did slightly allude to earlier, in terms of prices and that, so. Try to find somewhere that's got a dump as a sell point. Now it's going to be more your bulk items, like, yeah, you've worn that, so... Yeah, it is technically a sell point, but you only get a fraction of the price, so... Yeah, it's more of a dump and recycling plant area. And yeah, I think, apart from that... Let's just have one little look at plot 147 and that. That's going to be our final place to look at for the map tour. And then we'll get the cars out. So yeah, actually, one, one thing first we forgot to mention, yeah. This is the placement area that is mentioned in the mod map description. And yeah, got your trigger now over here for your cows and that. Water. Get a little nice little French windmill. Can we enter this? Oh, well, we'd love to enter that little French windmill, but so yeah, like a huge placeable area, and that costs how much? Some look, yeah, eighty-two grand. So eighty-two grand for a little placeable area. Again, if you don't want to use any of the farms on this map, you can sell all the items on the farm, or just sell it down here. And you create your own little custom farm net. Well, yeah, besides from that, yeah, so I'm a little quick look down here at our final pasture area. Which, well, let's cut through over here. Thankfully, the hedges are dry throughable. So yeah, this is going to be our final, yeah, place wall area, which I think in fairness I should look at first of all, because it's right, yeah, part of, in, in a way, of all the er other areas we looked at to start off with. So you do have like a little complex area, so rather than having a farm with all your animal place walls in one area, they're sort of like dotted all over the place, so, again, I like how well these are integrated into the map. So yeah, triggering that over here, hold 150 cattle. It's going to be your trigger area in there for feeding. And yeah, just like little bits of details with some of these pastures and that are unique. So I don't think that is everything that's covered. Just having a look at my notes. Nothing's over here, I'm just having a quick 
look at anything I may have missed. No, just empty fields and that. Place walls and that. I don't think so. No, that's just forestry and fields. So yeah, I think you know what? Let's wrap up this map tour by getting the car out. And yeah, let's go carting on a little circuit. I think as we wrap up the map tour. There we go, we've got our cart, lucky number 13. So yeah, as we have a little quick test around here, so... Yeah, overall of the map, what do I think of it? Honestly, if I three out of 5, I'll say it's around a 4 out of 5, maybe 4.25 out of 5. Because yeah, it's an awesome map, it's nice and detailed in that, well, I do love the things like with the NPCs and that. Again, with the game crashing in that, that could be just a theme that comes to its initial loading, because I've had this map probably open now for, what, an hour or so of testing around, fiddling around. And yeah, I've had no game crashes, so... Yeah, most likely, again, take my word for it, as it is. I do think it's just one of those things, when you first load up, it's got so much to process and load. But yeah, once you restart the game, it boots up fine. Again, this could be just with me personally and that. Because yeah, even though I've got these two mods now, like the thing for the money and that, and the cart, this happened without any mods and that, so... But yeah, once it first crashes and resets and that, you are fine, so... Yeah, not sure on that. But yeah, it's a lovely little French area and that, so if you love your French maps, love your small dinky fields and that, then this is the map for you. This ain't gonna be huge square fields and that. Of course not, no. But again, it's just it's a map with salt taste and that. There's bits for farming and there's bits for new farming. How well the animals have been integrated into the map is phenomenal props there so yeah like of course as I mentioned before there are times with maps where things are just plugged down place with no sense of purpose but this this ain't like that everything's been well integrated I love the landscape of the map and that and yeah right by the French guessing Riviera Okay, little glitches here and there, but again, that's just glimpses of the water and that. But yeah, besides from that, with the water and that, I can't really fault the map. No, I generally can't fault the map in that. Nothing to re critique about it or anything like that, so yeah. That's going to wrap up the map tour here for today. And if you enjoyed this map tour, smash that like button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for a choose to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this will be Farm Evo Extreme. And, I'll see you all very soon.